Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Morphous on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series is I'm going to go over home labs, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today, Morphous. Uh, it makes it to where you can self-host a file converter server. Um, we'll be running it in uh, Docker, like usual. And um, I, I hear some screenshots, uh, HTML form, and then uh, you pick your image. Then you, uh, you select your image, and then you select the format that you want to convert this image to. And then a, you click the upload, and then it presents you with the download. So that's what I, we will be installing today. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets, and there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go over to the search and uh, type Amorphous. And then you'll see how to install Amorphous on Dockage right here. You'll click on it, then you go to the Docker and Pose. So... Uh, I'm going to start with ser services, and the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Morphous. Then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Morphous, and this is how Docker does not generate a random name. And then the image down here is the Docker image. So this is the registry, and then this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. It's coming off of GitHub because the GHCR.io right here. A restart policy is set to unless stop, so that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails or any other reason, it will not try to restart. And then the volume mappings down here on the left side is the host, and that's a volume that's defined down here. And then on the contain uh, container side is the right side right here, so that's the temp directory. Do not change the container side. And then now the ports down here. So on the left is the host side, so 8080, and this is the port that you will use to get to the web UI. And then on the conta conta container side, which is the right, uh, it's 8080. Do not change the container side, just like the volumes and the ports. Do not change the, con uh, the container side. Um, so now a health check uh, to make sure it's up and running on 8080. And then the volume down here, and I named it Big Bear Amorphous uh, Temp. So I'm going to go over here and copy raw file. I'm going to click it, and then I'm going to go over my dockage and get this installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start in my dockage, and I'm going to go up to Compose. Stack name is going to be Morphous. And then I'm going to come over here to the editor. I'm going to paste in the Docker Compose that I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. Now you'll see it over in the UI as well, so you can add it over here, and then it will add it over here, and vice versa. Um, you can also add a container uh, which is a service underneath the service so i'm going to just say nginx and then now you'll see it underneath the uh, services right here so it added in nginx and then you can co come in here and edit it and then add a image and you can see it added the image right below the service of nginx um if you want to get rid of the service you just say delete right here and it's gone um I'm going to go up here to deploy the ch uh, changes that, uh, that I've done over in the editor. Deploy. And what that done is it download the Docker engine off the registry, got it extracted, and got it up with Docker and Buzz underneath because this is using the Docker engine. So now it's up and running. 
So now I'm going to go over the dockage UI. So on the home screen, you have active, exit, and inactive. These are statuses of what the stacks are doing over here. Um, if we go into the Morphous stack, uh, you'll see edit, restart, update, the current tag that's on it. It doesn't change the tag. Stop, and then stop and inactive, and then delete the stack. You can see the containers in the stack down here. So you can see we have one and you can see the image, uh, the registry that it's coming off of, and the Docker image tag. You can go into the container with bash, and then we're inside the container. You can switch to SH as well. Um, I'm gonna go back in the stack. So you can come down here and you can see it is healthy. You can click on the port down here, the host port that, that it's on is 8080. Um, the terminal down here, this is great for debugging. You can see the logs. Uh, you can also go over here and see a read-only version of the Docker and Pose that we put in. And then um, we can go into the edit, and you can see that we can still add the services underneath the services, just like we've done uh, uh, before. And then you can see the containers uh, and the service and then you can see the ports, the volumes, re restart policy, and you can change everything over on the UI over here. And it changes in the editor over here as, as well and vice versa. You can deploy the changes, set, save the, uh, the current changes, stop it inactive, and then discard the changes. Uh, you can put environment variables in, a uh, network, so internal and external networks. The, uh, the extra, which is you can add a URL. I'm gonna go ahead and discard the changes. So that's a little about do do dockage UI. So now I'm gonna go to the Morphous UI in my browser. Um, so you can either go to this with going to it manually by typing in the IP, which is the dockage IP, uh, your alien IP to get to this a uh, dockage UI, and then adding 8080 on the end or whichever host port you have. Uh, you have. Now, if this did collide with another port on your host, you could ch uh, change it, and then this port will be different for you. So, I'm going to go to the UI now. I'm going to click it. So, now you see it. It's a simple UI. You upload the file. Then, you, this po uh, populates over here with files that you can, uh, uh, the file formats that you can convert to. Um, you can go over here, and you can change from dark uh, to light. And then back to dark. Um, so now I'm going to upload a file. And then I'm going to click a PNG. Open. Now you'll see it's populated over here. So I uh, so the formats to, uh, to convert to. So a, P a PDF, a AVIF file, a JPEG, a JPEG, a GIF, a WebP, a TIFF, and a BMP. So I'm going to convert to a JPEG. And then upload. So, uh, so now we, we converted the PNG to a JPEG and you can da uh, download it right here or you can clear it out and start from fresh. So that's a little bit about the Morphous UI. So I just went over step by step on getting Morphous running on dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description, so stay tuned for more.